okay after installing the Hyper-V now we have the Hyper-V manager uh, let's use the get net adapter to know how much or uh, the number of adapter that are on this computer and as you can see there are some other V Ethernet adapters from the from the previous installation um, you use the uh, remove net adapter uh, remove VM switch to remove the switches and um, you specify the name of the switch as the parameter that goes with that and uh, you name the switch that you want to remove you want to force that oops I think uh, there might be a problem removing this probably because uh, these are already disconnected um, switches so I think I'll have to manually go in and uh, remove these okay from what you could see on the screen I have uh, gone to the GUI and removed those uh, disconnected uh, V Ethernet we only have the local area and wireless adapters and a virtual box adapter that I had installed I'm going to use uh, the new VM switch commandlet with the parameters uh, computer name specifying to do it on this computer net adapter local area net connection like is specified above and there's a note and also I like to use the parameter confirm and what if in case just to make sure that the command is right and hit enter now I bring the command back and remove the what if and I'll confirm right here enter and th this should create, create the new switch oops I think there might be some issues if you look above say local area connection not found I think there might be a spelling error I think there are double space on between the area and the connection so I'll have to go back and I press the arrow button up to bring back the last command and I think I have to s correct that and confirm oops all right go back bring that back twice and give it one space and hit the end button enter this uh, will create the new VM switch the first one is always the external switch that is created so this I think now we can confirm from the GUI that V Ethernet external adapter or switch has been created uh, let me pull this window up so we can see it very clearly and uh, next we will verify with the get net adapter command to confirm that this appears uh, let me pull this up again you can see the V Ethernet external adapter is now being listed with the get net adapter okay now back to the uh, GUI bringing up the Hyper-V manager on the action pane uh, clicking on the virtual virtual switch manager you can see the external switch that we have just created and the note is as we had stated uh, as you can see the first one was um, for the external network and the internal is the next one that we're going to create I think that would be a lot more easier because it's almost the same command it's just uh, specify the switch type okay back to the PowerShell window now we have to create the internal switch of which the VMs are going to use to communicate in the virtual network uh, using the command new VM switch with the parameter dash name and here you give it a unique name I'm going to spell my internal in a different way just to make it as unique as possible 
internal and the next parameter uh, will be note dash note I like to use the top completion because um, PowerShell version 4 has a very pretty good uh, top completion and uh, my note has to be in an open and closed quotation this is for internal communication of the VMs closing and then now you specify the switch type this is going to be an internal switch you type internal I like to use the confirm and the what if parameter to make sure that my command is right when it returns then um, I will always use the arrow button up bring it back tap backward confirm and if you look on the top left of the GUI window you will see where the switch is created in a few seconds there and as you can see in the GUI there is a new switch created and let us bring up the Hyper-V manager the action pane clicking on the virtual switch manager you can see there are now two switches external and internal and the internal switch confirmed that is for the internal network while the external is for the external and that completes the creation of switch for the VMs so from the PowerShell window let's now confirm with a command light get net adapter you can see now we have V Ethernet internal V Ethernet external and that confirms that we have created a VM switch for our VM network